Hello and welcome to today's webinar on business systems analysis. This is one of our flagship courses at Quebeco, and we want to get you introduced to the interesting profession of business systems analysis. Please check our website www.quebecoglobal.com for more details on this course. All industry verticals, for example, financial services, telecommunications, retail, healthcare, or media, depend on information technology systems to automate their processes. Automation almost always involves building and maintaining complex enterprise-wide software systems. Typically, the people that understand business operations have no idea about information technology. And those that are experts in information technology have no idea about business operations. Therefore, in order to successfully build software applications that fulfill a business need, we need business analysts that can be a liaison between the business and information technology. Note that this is not management consulting where you oversee profit and loss, competitor analysis, or marketing strategies. That is a different profile. Business systems analysis is purely translating business requirements to a form that software developers can understand. Roles that dabble with overview of technology and business functionality are called techno-functional roles. Most prominently, business systems analysis, project management, and software quality assurance fit this category. All these roles fall under technology, but do not require a software programming background. Hence, they serve as a good foot in the door for people that are interested in getting into information technology, but lack the programming experience. The good part is that all these roles pay pretty well compared to a national average of $53,000 per year, as you can see on this chart. The average pay, as per the Department of Labor Statistics, is $82,000. However, the true range is anywhere between eighty dollars to $120,000, depending on your experience, specialization, full-time versus consulting assignments, and location. Let's use an example here to make it clear for you. Assume there is a bank that wants to go online. There is a branch manager with 15 years of experience in running a bank that has no technology experience. And now a vendor, say IBM, is hired to build the banking application, but no one in IBM technology understands banking operations. A BA, also known as a business analyst, translates the business needs of the bank manager using documentation that a technology team can understand. This does not mean that the BA needs to be an expert on the business side or in technology. This only means that he or she needs to have the general BA skill set and toolkit to help the two parties understand each other so that a software application is successfully built. For a BA, as the projects change, the business domain and the technology side can keep changing as well. For example, this same BA can work on a telecommunications billing system in one moment and a claims processing system the next. What matters is his or her ability to translate effectively. A business systems analyst is the bridge between the business side stakeholders that include the sponsor who funds your project, the subject matter experts, also called SMEs, that provide you with detailed requirements, and the end users that will eventually use the system that you build. You will not be interacting with every single end user as they might number anywhere from dozens to thousands of people, depending on the scale of the project. You will interact with SMEs that represent them. On the technology side, you will interact with project managers, development leads, technology architects, and software developers. Your job is to explain the business requirements to them and oversee product development to specification. As a part of that, you will talk with business side stakeholders and get the business requirements first, elaborate the requirements and create documents next, design the functional solution subsequently which will be used by developers to build the systems, Eventually, you will also test out the system to ensure that it works as per your requirements. So, what does that mean for you from a day-to-day -day perspective? You might meet the business side stakeholders to discuss the requirements of a software product. You might be explaining the requirements and specifications to a technology team. A lot of times these might be offshore teams, so expect to do a lot of phone conversation and screen sharing. It's not always in person, as this picture shows. 
You may analyze requirements and figure out the best functional solution. A most common question is whether designing functional solutions needs technical knowledge. No, a functional solution is not technical architecture. It is all about providing the screen layouts, business rules, and scenario analysis for requirements that is understandable to a layperson. The technical architect uses that to make technology decisions. Hence, you are not expected to have a technology background. Another major aspect of being a business systems analyst is creation of requirements documentation, like business requirements document, BRD, functional specifications, FSD, use cases, user stories, test plans, etc. This will consume at least 60% of your time and will be your major performance indicator. Over time, you will also be expected to be a go-to person for any software demos, new hire training, and testing oversight. So if a technology programming background is not needed for being a BA, then what exactly is required? The key skills for being a BA are ability to elicit requirements, talk to business users, understand the software development lifecycle, visually draw the business processes, create mock screens, also known as wireframes, produce data models, and contribute to functionality using industry domain knowledge. You do not need to be a technology expert. You just need to know about the basics of the steps involved in developing software and understand the development lifecycle, or SDLC. You also may want to know high-level details of the functions of various technology tools. On the domain side, you just need to be familiar with a few business operations in the industry of your choice. Ultimately, the core soft skills needed to be a good BA are communication and people skills, a strategic vision for developing intuitive applications, an analytical mind, and a keen eye for details. As a part of being a BA, you will be using some software tools to do your job. Don't worry. Unlike programming jobs, the BA interviews are not about asking you about knowledge of the tools. In techno-functional profiles, the tools you use are merely means to an end and not the end itself. Tools are not the focus of the interview and are very user-friendly with short learning curves. Check out our website to find some free training material on most of these tools. Main types of tools are requirement management and collaboration tools like Requisite Pro or Microsoft SharePoint. These are used in documenting and sharing it across the entire team from a central place. Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. In most companies, this is the only thing used by BAs to create documents. Process modeling tools like Visio, Bizagi, Modeler, or iGraphics. These help in creating pictures using industry standard notations like Business Process Modeling Notation, BPMN, or Unified Modeling Language, UML. Data analysis and data visualization tools like Structured Query Language, SQL, or Irwin or ClickView tools to create mock screens like Axure, Balsamic, or again, Microsoft Visio. Finally, issue management or production support tools like Clarity, Alacrity, or HP ALM. There are some end-to-end -to -end tools that help in the entire SDLC, like Enterprise Architect or Team Foundation Server or Rally for Agile-style software development. Another common question is, who are my coworkers and what will my team look like? Typically, you will report to a project or program manager who will be managing the project end-to-end. -end. In some cases, you might also have a dotted line reporting to a BA manager. Your team will most likely consist of some developers, a technology architect, and some quality analysis resources. Typically, there is one BA to every eight to 10 developers. On the business side, you will be interacting with subject matter experts, but not reporting to them. There are many courses out there, but we guarantee that none can match with our practical, innovative style of teaching that ensures that no student is left behind. These are skills most required on a job, and our focus is to make sure you get one. We walk you through a day in the life of a developer so you get a quick overview of building blocks of software development. We have a special class on non-functional requirements that no one offers, but it is really important in real projects. We offer hands-on training on the various tools required for being a good BA. We pay special attention to data modeling, which is a critical part of creating functional specifications. We have an extra class for teaching BPMN, the industry standard for business process modeling. We have a special class on user interface design that makes you more marketable and equips you for job hunting. 
And most importantly, we do this using a mock project and easy to understand metaphors that ensure that you gain hands-on experience when doing a course with us. Last but not least, career paths for a business system analyst. The first project that you should aim for should always be that of a BA generalist. We provide resume and interview preparation packages separately to help you with it. For those who take our BA boot camp course, the resume and interview package is included. In the short term, you might want to grow horizontally by either specializing in a software tool as a BA or a particular industry domain, or by adding quality analysis skills to your repository. Over time, you may want to take two vertical paths. You can grow in the BA field by either managing other BAs or by managing a BA center of excellence. The other path is to become a project manager, eventually a program manager, and finally an IT delivery executive responsible for delivery of applications in a large area. Thank you for listening to this webinar. I hope you found it useful. Please feel free to leave comments on this video or call us on 201-340-4718 or check us out on www.cuebicoglobal.com. We offer a variety of information technology courses and interview preparation packages. Feel free to email us to schedule a live demo webinar. Thank you once again and do check out our other videos.